There's a growing body of research showing that ADHD isn't just a brain issue, it's often a gut issue, and most clinicians aren't looking in the right place. A 2025 meta-analysis analyzing data from over 3.8 million individuals found that those with ADHD were 63% more likely to also have IBS. That's not a coincidence, it's the gut-brain axis in action. We now understand that dysbiosis, which is an imbalance in the gut microbiome, can influence neuroinflammation, neurotransmitter production, and even emotional regulation. So when someone presents with ADHD symptoms, chronic bloating, constipation, or IBS, it's not enough to separate mental health from gut health anymore. These are intimately connected. That's why I run a comprehensive stool analysis on nearly every patient I work with. It gives us a clear look at markers like parasites, candida, inflammation, leaky gut, and bacterial balance, which are the exact things that could be contributing to mood, focus, and even behavioral patterns. If you're only treating the brain without investigating the gut, you could be missing half the picture. Have you ever had your gut tested? Comment below and let me know.